I'm Dave from boyinaband.com and today I'll be reviewing drum sampling software Superior Drummer 2 by ToonTrack. So let's jump straight in. Features and versatility. The first feature to mention is the sample variety. The pack comes with one kit, the NY Avatar, which is a good all-round kit and is freaking massive. I can easily test out the samples for you in this convenient representation of the kit that is a nice centerpiece to the software. There's a ton of cymbals, toms, snares, kicks, and the all-important cowbell for when you need more of it. Now, with one kit, you might feel it's a bit lacking. You can splash out on other kits they have available, but the Avatar kit is very customizable, and with a bit of tweaking, you can get some radically different sounds from really live-sounding, roomy kits to more modern, in-your-face sounding metal kits. Now the mixer is great. If we have a look in here in this metal-y kind of kit I've made, you can see that there's quite a few different effects you can apply. There's an EQ, filters, gate, compressor, and transient modeling, all available as inserts, meaning it's really easy to call up an edited kit and keep all the processing for the drum kit in one place, rather than sloppily all over your DAO. There's a huge variety of mics used. You can see there's three different ones for each kick and each snare, and each one is recorded in each different mic as well, so you get a bit of the kick into the snare. And in case you don't like that, you can control the bleed values. So if we try it out with the kick, you can see it's coming through here in this snare bottom. If we hit edit, we can easily just disable the kick if you want a more clinical sounding kick drum. Now, some of you might have computers where, like an underachieving child, no matter how hard they process, their best isn't quite good enough. However, unlike parenting such a child, you don't have to pick up a violent alcohol addiction to get over your crushing disappointment. Simply use the premixer bounce feature to free up processor space for other parts of your production. Now if we go back to the construct thing, and I uh, construct section, and I put it back into default, so we have the roomy kit back. You can see that all the samples can be changed in pitch, quite radically. have their envelopes modified, and the humanized settings are pretty cool as well, if you turn them on, allowing you to introduce minute timing and velocity differences to make for a much more authentic and realistic sound. And for those of you that notice that authentic and realistic are synonyms, and I didn't really need to use both, lighten up, you're being too pedantic and punctilious. Usability. Now the main page is quite good at highlighting useful features for quick access, and the aforementioned massive interactive drum kit graphic is so much fun to play with. Though you can also switch to classic view with its MPC-ish pads if you're a hipster and want to prove how old school you are. Samples are easy to switch between with the nicely positioned little drop down arrows here. If we go on the snare, there's quite a few to choose from for instance. And a lot of these symbols, if I can find the right ones, have quite a few different choices as well. Some of the useful features are the ability to try different velocities on this pad down here in the bottom right. Though you have to select the part of the kit from this drop down menu in the instrument section here rather than, as I'd expect at least, having to click on the part of the kit you want to change in the big graphic here, which isn't really that intuitive, but not too complex. And other pages go more in depth, as we've seen, the mixer has quite a few different options available as inserts, but you've also got some nice sending options, and you can show and hide different parts of the mixer quite easily there. There are quite a few presets too, both for individual channels and for the overall kits, as we can see here. Some of the channel ones are really usable. Let's take a look at some of the ones for the kicks. If we sell that this out. However, for me, being primarily interested in using it for heavy metal and rock kind of sounds, none of the overall kit presets were really usable for a pro sounding heavy drum tone, which was kind of disappointing. However, a bit of research and tweaking and you can pretty easily remedy that. Or for more variety in your heavy tones, that's why they made the Metal Foundry add-on pack. One thing that's a little frustrating, by default, it only loads up the samples you trigger, meaning the first time you trigger anything, it has this slight clip, as you may have heard throughout this review. Now, if I select a snare we haven't had yet, and we try and play it, 
You can hear that first time it had that little clip. On occasion, I've forgotten to load the cache before bouncing a song down, and I've had to do so again when I realise there are these tiny clips throughout it. I can see why they've done it, to reduce processor overheads, and there is this forced cache mode which hasn't seemed to work this time, but I thought it was worth bringing it up, since it provided me with a few frustrating moments. Quality. The multi-sampling is great. There's more samples here than there are contradictions in the Bible, so combined with good velocity-conscious drum programming, you'll have a hard time distinguishing from this and a well-recorded live kit. The program is really stable as well, hasn't caused any crashes I can think of. About twice in the half a year or so of intensive use, there's been an instance when the samples don't load when I've tr loaded up a preset, but I'm pretty sure that's because Sonar 8.5, which I use it in, isn't that friendly when it comes to plugins. And simply closing and opening the project fixed it. Now the samples in particular are fantastic quality. Even if you aren't a fan of the inbuilt kicks and snares, you can use it in conjunction with another sampling program for different kick and snare sounds for a more modern forefront to the tone with the room sound and cymbals from Superior Drummer blended in to make a really realistic and customizable kit sound with no recording whatsoever. You can pick up Superior Drummer for about £150, so it's a hell of a lot cheaper than real kits, and at this moment in time, it's pretty much a similar price to most of the other drum replacement software out there, but with a much nicer look and a ridiculously versatile default kit. Overall, Apart from a few tiny niggles, it's a great product. A brilliant alternative to live kits, especially for home studio owners. I give it 90% because of the lack of a modern metal-ready preset. Even though there is a metal add-on, you'd have thought there'd be at least one preset on here. But the kit there can be modified as many videos will show you. With some time and effort, you can fix that no problem. Superior Drama is an awesome bit of kit for modern computer musicians looking to add an authentic live kit sound to their songs without having to spend too much money on expensive mics, learn mic placement technique for arguably the hardest instrument in the world to record, and uh, learn to play drums. So, if you're looking for live drum emulation, in my humble opinion, you can't go far wrong with Superior Drama 2. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this review useful. If you found this video useful, like it and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest Boiner Band videos. You can follow me on Twitter at Dave P. Brown. And if you want to improve your production skills, head over to the Boiner Band forum at boinerband.com forum and sign up so you can share your songs, get new fans and valuable advice on how to improve your productions. Links for that in the description. Cheers for watching and have a nice day.